Hello, it's Koi, and welcome to the Eclectic Cottage. I'm really glad you're here today. I'm sitting in the art room. It's been a busy couple of days um, fussing around with um, preparing things for the 10 fall journals that we're working on here at the Eclectic Cottage. And I thought I would turn the camera on and see if we can just put in to the journal we're working on together. Remember, we're working on the journal together, and then I'm repeating, um, not exactly the same, but similar uh, items in the other nine uh, journals. And we haven't got very far. We do have, um, as far as I know, we've only done one. Um, let's see. Yeah, we did Jane. So we've got Jane in our in our journal. And I thought we would just turn the camera on and this is some of the things that we will have been working on together. And I just want to get some of them into the journal to make room to put new stuff in this little basket. So let me ask you, how are you all doing? How's your September going? It's been, our, my September's been a little bit crazy between the fires, which are not extinguished, but they're more under control, and the 108 degree weather we were having is more like low 90s, um, high of low 90s, and, you know, so it's better. It's a little better. We're not getting, uh, we haven't had much precipitation but we're still um, fingers crossed for that. Um, we are grateful for the little bit of rain that we had, um, but we need more. We need a lot more. Okay, so just just to recall, quick uh, quick quick flip. We have, you know, uh, Jane, which is a a talk and. Um, we have plenty of real estate to work in here. So I want to make sure to leave plenty of room for whoever these journals end up belonging to for them to work themselves. But I do like to have things I do like to have things that that you know make make it fun and um interesting. Let's see. We worked on these, I remember. We'll pick out the one we want. We'll pick out, we'll cherry pick on the on the one we're doing together. How's that? So we had this and we made some envelopes to go with. So let's take a quick look at the envelopes. Remember the envelopes folded down into a journal spot and the tags had a pocket. So pocket tags inside a pocket that folds down for journaling. All right, I am gonna pick a favorite. Let's see if there is a favorite. I quite like this one. And I quite like this one. Oh, well, actually I quite like them all. So maybe picking a favorite is not really a thing. Um, okay, how about the one with the B? All right, we'll do the one with the B and then I want to take these and move them somewhere else until I get uh, until I get them in the other nine journals. So what goes well with the B? Well, they all do, of course. Oh, these are all, I think these are all very similar. This one has a flower on it. Those little clusters are so cute. I want to make some more clusters for belly bands, I think. Oh, they're cute. We did good, y'all. All right, we're gonna go with those two only because 
we are. <laughs> no real reason. And I think this is a good page to put them in. And, okay, I feel like I'm running out of holding space. All right. So this is a big dictionary page. I'm going to go ahead and, let me go ahead and remove it. Set you over there. This is why I like waiting until at least the pockets are in. I like being able to remove the page, work on it at will. Okay, New Words Department, Webster's Home University Dictionary. I don't even know how old this book is. how old the new words are. I noticed there's a lot of compound words in uh, in this dictionary. Maybe that's why it's so large. <coughs> All right, so I'm very interested. I'd like to know what's going on on your desk. working on a September project? Are you working on a project of the week? Are you working on a project of the day? Are you not working on a project? Which is fine. We're not always working on a project. All right, new words department. Um, because this is a flip down, where do we want to put it on the page? I think still down here. Right? The tag takes up a significant part of the page. Should we put a little something at the bottom for Sturdiness, we could do that. What do we have? Now, these are fall journals, but again, they're not going to be all maple leaves and squirrels. I just want to give a little nod to fall because that's the season that we're in and that's the season that... Um, I plan on... displaying them, but I want it still to be a journal that people would want to work in um, all year round. But I love fall colors. Fall colors are warm and welcoming. Maybe this blue is a little more spring, but that's okay. All right, let's add that for a little we could even wrap it around if we wanted to. Should we? Well, yes, I think we should. We'll just wrap it around. Okay. Playing it by ear, folks. Playing it by ear. I'll be glad to get a few things in. I think it'll give me a little, um, a little inspiration to see some things actually in the journal. Um, I often, I don't know, you can tell me what you do, but I often make ephemera ahead of time. Okay, that's nice. And give a little bit of distress to the edges. All 
You can let me know in comments how you feel about distressing. I just, for some reason, it doesn't feel, I try not to, sometimes I get a little carried away and um, get annoyed with myself, but I don't get as carried away as most folks. <laughs> All right, so just let's just glue it, completely glue it down, right? All right, so the person that has this journal will be able to just flip this down and write a little note, or they can glue the they can glue the uh, sides and use it for a little envelope to um, hide something in. All right, but we're going to leave it as a a flip down for journaling, and then they can do whatever they'd like. What is that glue? I have stain on my hands. Okay. I like it. All right, so we're gluing down our three sides. Because it's a pocket. Obviously, because it has that flip, I'm not going to put my little divot in there, but we're going to know it's a pocket because... Uh, the B tag is going to be sticking out of the top of it. Okay. Oh, I like it really. I really like it. I like it very much. this. If you take it out, there's your little, uh, your little journaling spot. And if we run across something else that's larger, we might be able to slip something else in there later. But for now, this is our page. I love it. Nicely done. All right, where was this? This was right here. One, two, three. Nice. All right, and a belly band. I have belly bands. Um, I do want to use one, then we can make a big tag to, to stick in there. I don't know if that's the page, because this page is so skinny, and these are already a certain size. Let's see, should we embellish it? Why, sure, why wouldn't we? Um, a cigar band? A number? That number's too big. You might be able to find a smaller one in here. Oh, look at these little numbers. Oh, this little number would fit right in there. Huh. I don't know. Well, these are not organized at all. They're just kind of all in here. But I kind of like digging through them a little bit. That might be cute if we um, put something behind this and make it a little sturdier because it would be sticking out. 
Is there any way to make it stick out like this? Hmm. Yeah, we would need to sturdy that thing up if we were going to use that. I kind of like it, though. What else? I guess I could have had this part done before I turned the camera on. But hey. This is real life in the in the craft room. Real life in the cat craft room. Do we like a three? Hmm. Cigars and cologne. Uh, why, yes, I think we will. All right, that's one, two, three things. That's three things that should be plenty, <coughs> unless we do this flowers instead. No. All right. No on the three. Distress it a little bit so we can't see how. Imperfect the little oval is. Okay, and there we have it, a belly band. We'll put something in there that's large. It takes up a lot of space. And I really like it. It's kind of eclectic. We're doing good. We're doing good. We're on a roll. Okay, and... The wallpaper, the wallpaper pocket. Look at this butterfly, I love this. This is um from, I bet, she said, to Casa de Papel. I love her papers. It's a freebie that she offered at the Casa Azul group. Should we cut it down a little bit? 
if we leave it this tall, it'll it'll cover up a lot of whatever tag we put in there. So maybe we should trim it down, make it a little shorter. At least let's, how about this? We'll trim that part off. that better or should we go all the way oh well, let's go all the way oh why not it's cute all right yeah I really like having being able to take the pages out of the journal to work on them on the pockets and such all right <clears throat> let's Glue down this side first so that we know exactly how much to trim over there before we glue. I think that might be a good idea. Yeah, did we want to do a little bit of distressing? Sure. glue you down so we can get a good cut on the other side. And a little trim. been doing so much fussy cutting that my, I don't think it's corporal tunnel or anything yet, but it kind of feels a little bit tight in those areas, you know what I mean? Anybody ever experience that when doing a lot of fussy cutting all at one time? So Angie, my daughter Angie that lives here, she tattoo artist and her boyfriend who is still relatively newish boyfriend, but not really. We're really like starting to like him. You know, it's hard. She's she's 40 years old and um has never been married. She works hard. She's a hard worker. Anyway, I wasn't going to talk about how hard she works. I wanted to talk about Josh is her boyfriend. And Josh has a four-year-old son that he has every other weekend. And ja, uh, and he is coming over this weekend to Angie's and I'm just so excited it's so much fun to see a little one um, to see a little one around again I mean I have grandchildren I have a one-year-old and I have a nine-year-old and a 13 year old she's not nine ten I don't have a nine-year-old. I have an 11-year-old and a 13-year-old. What am I talking about? Anyway, my granddaughters, 
and my grandson. They live two and a half hours away. I don't get to see them often, but it's fun to have one here. Um, and I'm a little bit excited. I hope I get to see him. I love kids, and they just don't stay little long enough, do they? My son just turned 40. He's my oldest. Angie's his sister, his business partner, and she just turned 39. How old does that make their mother? <laughs> old. Okay, another pocket. Yeah, I can't wait to start filling those things. All right, so we took that from right here. Let's put it back. And what's next? We have just a plain little pocket. Which one would we like? Let's figure out where we're putting it first. Should we use book page, dictionary page, or <clears throat> just this beautiful background? Let's see. That's nice. That's very nice, actually. Or postcard-ish thing. Uh, I'm voting for the postcard. I don't know why. But let's do it. Let's do it. Should I put a little black lip there? I think so. Oh, here. We'll use this fat one. Okay, I like that. <coughs> oh, the weather is almost uh, bearable again. It has been a long, hot summer, and I know we're not the only ones, but uh, I, for one, were, was ready for the weather to be a little bit more tolerable for sure it's not cool or anything although we have had some nights where it's in the 60s already you know it was still triple digits in the daytime but it did drop down to the 60s at night that is a humongous i feel <laughs> you know a humongous temperature uh, fluctuation i'm from south florida and we it doesn't fluctuate like that there. You know, we're, we get like that perfect weather all year long. Summertime, sometimes we do go into the 90s, but never the hundreds. I can't remember the last time it was in the hundreds in, in South Florida. I think, you know, they may have had a situation this year uh, because this was an extreme year for everybody. But mostly, they were in the 80s and 90s all summer when we were in the triple digits. So, one thing they get there, though, that we didn't have here, because it was so dry, we experienced the dry heat. And I never understood, being from South Florida, I never understood when people said, oh, a dry heat is so much easier than, you know, they would say a dry heat feel so much cooler than, you know, if it's a hundred and a hundred and something, it feels cooler than, you know, it does here when it's um, 90 degrees. And that's because the dry heat, you walk outside, it's like opening up the oven. And in Florida, you step outside and because it's been so rainy, 
In the summer, it's very rainy in Florida, South Florida especially. And so when you open the door, it's like walking into a steam room. And <clears throat> it's definitely a different kind of hot, but I wouldn't say that uh, 108 was cool, <laughs> no matter how you look at it. I think there's less sweat involved in a dry heat. What's it like where you live? You can let me know in the comments what your summer's been like. Do you have dry heat? Do you have humid heat? Did you get a lot of rain? Hopefully you didn't get wildfires like we did. That was some scary stuff. Another pocket. Another pocket. No gussets. I don't know why I, I'm not putting gussets. You kind of have to be careful with gussets and not make them too big because you don't want whatever's in your pocket falling out. But gussets just always seem like the right thing to do. Unless you're only putting one thin little slip of paper in there. Okay, that is a very grungy-ish fall-like pocket. I like it. Okay, we're doing good. All right, tuck, pocket, belly band, pocket. We need to do some up tucks. Page flip. Let's do a flip. Let's decide what to do with these bad boys. These are just huge pockets. We can either just clip them in with a paper clip on a page. Or we can hinge them and make them a flip. Or we can hinge them like this and make them a flip. This is very large. <laughs> How about there? Do we want it done in the center? How about the butterfly in the center? And this go here. Ah, uh, yes. I think I like it. All right. So the flowers, the apple. This is cute. It's a uh, it's a sewing card. Uh, maybe we'll do that. Flowers. Oh, look at the squirrel. That is definitely fall like. Isn't he adorable? Butterflies, butterflies. Oh, three butterflies. Or an apple tree. Is anybody going apple picking this fall? All right, I'm gonna use the sewing card. camera. I apologize for that because I know it shakes things around. All right. Where's the page? Should we pull the page out? Yes. And I put it over here where it doesn't belong. All right. Let's do this. So... This will let us, oh, it's pretty big. Maybe I should trim it down a little bit. 
I can do that. And I'll do a little trimming here. And a little trimming here. And then I'll have to re-glue, I think. And I think that's better, right? Okay. And, and a hinge. Let's find a hinge. How about a hinge that matches the paper, the leaf paper? All right, I feel like we're making some progress. I'm not quite sure how long we've been doing this, but maybe we'll make this our last one for today. And we'll work on some more together tomorrow. It would be really fun if I knew some of you were crafting along with us, taking an opportunity to make yourself a fall journal or two or more. <laughs> little bit wide, Koi. If I was, I would be using glue stick if I was mass making my 10. When I do the nine, when I work on the nine to do these, I don't usually use art glitter glue for large flat areas. I usually use it just when it's, you know, for something that needs more of a precision uh, line. white's kind of showing. Let's get, get it dulled down a little bit. All right, it's really, really cute. That is a public domain image. It's from a vintage book on crafting. It's really cute. Yeah, one thing you have to make sure when you're using art glitter glue is that you lay this down exactly where you want it because there's not a lot of pulling it up and and maneuvering things around like you can with a glue stick or with Fabri-Tac or, you know, with a P PVC glue or something. It pretty much sticks as soon as you lay it down. 
So if I was using a different glue, I probably would have moved this a little bit further away from the fold, but I think it's fine. It's fine. It's not, I, I did keep it away from, from the, uh, from the edge, but I probably would have moved it a little bit further if I would have been able to. Cute. And we have a little bit of collage elements here. Place to uh, put some large things. You can tuck some photos or, you know, cards or writing paper inside there. And you still have your beautiful leaves <clears throat> under here to do what you want to do. I think that is going to do it for today. What did we decide? Where was this? This was in the center. This was the center fold. All right. <clears throat> so we probably are pretty full on the front side of this, um, this first signature. We've got Jane. We've got the bee with a tag and some journaling space. And what else do we have? We have a belly band. We can put something large in there. I really like that belly band. It's kind of ridiculous with the cigar cigar band and the cologne uh, tag. We have a big pocket there, a big pocket here. And we have moved the butterfly. You know, this can be a place to journal or to put photos or whatever. Um, and, okay, so tomorrow we'll work on putting the pockets, tucks, flips, whatever we're going to use on the second half of the first signature. All right, I like it. Thank you all for being here with me today. I appreciate it so very much. And I, I'm glad you keep showing up. And it makes it a lot more fun when I'm crafting to, to know that I'm not crafting alone. I appreciate that. I appreciate your comments, your, you know, your likes, your, um, the comments, the comments. You have no idea how much those comments mean. So I thank you again for stopping by. I hope you have a really good evening. And if you have something fun planned for the weekend, good for you. If not, let's craft. I'll see you soon.